Hi, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I've been in real estate for six years now, and like many of you out there, I have steadily built my business, but felt I was struggling to have my voice heard by a larger audience. I knew I had a voice, I just didn't know how to reach people effectively. In June 2017, I attended the video bootcamp with Michael Thorne and Jesse Peters. And I knew sitting there over the two days that this was going to change my real estate career forever. The thing that struck me most while sitting in the video boot camp was this. Never before in the history of real estate has every single agent been given access to this. Every single agent now has access to their very own film studio and television network. Just think about that for a second from a marketing perspective. And it gets even better. That film studio and television network is sitting in the camera on your smartphone. We all know that traditional forms of advertising is dead. My uncle Clive Veroni wrote a fantastic book on the subject. It's called Spin, How Politics Has the Power to Turn Marketing on Its Head. Give it a read. So the fact that traditional forms of advertising is dead is a massive windfall for real estate agents. For those of you running ads on bus shelters, radio, print ads, etc., what is the ROI on those investments? I can tell you it's not very much. You can now build your brand at little to no cost on a consistent basis. This is a video crazy world that we live in. Do you know that YouTube has over a billion users? That's almost one third of all internet users. More than 500 million hours of videos are watched on YouTube each day. More video content is uploaded in 30 days than the US major networks have created in 30 years. 87% of online marketers use video content, and one-third of online activity is spent watching video. Over half of video content is viewed on mobile, and 92% of mobile video viewers share videos with others. Internet video traffic was 69% of all global consumer internet traffic in 2017. By 2019, internet video traffic will account for 80% of all global consumer internet traffic. I know what you're thinking. These stats are all well and good, but show me some real world evidence. I want to see proof of why I should embrace video. Well, I can tell you, I'm not here to convince you to do anything in your business. I could care less if you incorporate video into your business or not. All I can do is share my story and my journey. So let's rewind to June of last year and take a look at what I started doing after the video boot camp. I knew I wanted to start shooting video immediately, particularly doing the 30 videos in 30 days challenge. And I knew that I wanted the final product to look good. So I started figuring out how to execute my vision. Now I may be very comfortable in front of the camera, but I had zero experience with editing and that part of things freaked me out a lot. I also didn't want to run out and buy a bunch of new equipment. I mean, one, it's expensive, and two, I'd need to learn how to use all this new tech. It was clear to me I could come up with dozens of reasons to stop myself from executing my plan. So I had to figure out how to eliminate those barriers. What I did have was the will, desire, and energy to execute my plan. I also had my iPhone 5. I invested in a Rode Lab mic for about $30, and I also invested in a smooth video stabilizer for about $199. That really was all the tech I needed to get going. Now, I also knew I wanted to have a slick intro and outro for all my videos. So I took the advice given to us by Jesse and Michael in the video bootcamp, and I found someone on Fiverr. She's in the UK, and she's fantastic. Now, I'd been a BombBomb -Bomb customer for a couple of years at this point, by the way, if you're sitting there and thinking, yeah, I'd love to use uh, more video in my real estate business and you're not a BombBomb -Bomb customer already, sign up immediately. It is the easiest and fastest way to start connecting with your clients and your database using video. I had enjoyed success with the one-to-one -one videos with my clients as well as the monthly market updates I would send to them, but I had never tackled anything as ambitious as the 30 videos in 30 days challenge. The thing that still scared me the most was the editing. Fortuitously for me, around the same time that I was planning uh, to start my 30 and 30 series, I came across a blog post by Realty Ninja, the guys who handle my website, and it was about a relatively new app called the YouTube Director app. After reading the blog post and watching the video that the writer had created in about five minutes using the app, 
I knew this was a game changer for me. I used that app to shoot every single one of my 30 videos. I shot, edited, added titles, added text to each clips, music, voiceovers to each video, and then uploaded them to YouTube. I'd then download them to my computer, add my outro, and re-upload them to YouTube with the finished product. Now, unfortunately, YouTube, for whatever reason, discontinued the app as of December 1st, 2017. And when they made that announcement in October that this was happening, I was crushed. And I'm still looking for a great replacement. Now, my point to all of this is I found a way around the hurdles in front of me. Shortly after finishing my 30 and 30 video series, BombBomb Bomb and Vscreen announced that they were looking for nominations for a video influencers list that they were compiling. I certainly didn't think that I would ever be nominated, let alone make the top 10 list in one of the five categories. I mean, I'd only been using video for two to three months at this point. But you already know the ending to this story. I was nominated and I was selected as number 10 in the community video category. I sat with Michael Thorne in late October, I think, just after um, finding out that I'd made the top 10 list for the community videos category. And he said to me, you have no idea how huge this is going to be for you. And he was right on so many levels. The first thing that happened was he asked me if I was going to R4. And if so, would I consider speaking at the video summit he and Jesse were doing? Only a fool would turn down that opportunity. So I said, well, I guess I'm going to R4 now. Then through November and December, which are typically slow months for most agents, I earned over 75,000 in gross commission sales. And every single one of those deals was directly attributed to the videos that I've been creating. Shortly after the video influencers announcement was made on December 5th of 2017, I was then asked to be on the Michael Myers show. Now you all know the caliber of people that Michael has on his show. Everyone from Tom Ferry, Ryan Serhan, our own Jesse Peters. I mean, I was dumbfounded and honored at the request. Naturally, I said yes to this request and will be filming my segment on my birthday, February 15th. All of this has happened in the last six months. If anyone needs another reason why they should be embracing video in their real estate career, I don't know what to say to you. I no longer have to think about what I need to do each day to drum up business. I know that if I consistently create video content that's relevant and adds value to people, business will come and the deals will happen. The best part about all of this is creating video content is a blast. I mean, look at every single person on that video influencers list. Look at their videos and you're going to see they are having a great time. They're being themselves, connecting with their community and their clients. So now that you know that you have your very own film studio and television network, what kind of videos are you going to create? Go out there, build your brand, build your tribe. You'll have the most fun you've had in this business in a long time, and it will be incredibly rewarding. I wish you all the best of success. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yeah.